Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the delightful Romberg operetta, Blue Paradise, starring Gordon McRae and his celebrated guest from the Metropolitan Opera, Nadine Connor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another memorable musical is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, you have a front table at the most fabulous inn anywhere in the world, the Blue Paradise. Children, when they cry, you're born near the dad, your waters are blue, all of the world below. Oh, it's criminal, my friends, to leave a place as wonderful as the Blue Paradise. But you're going to America, Rudy. What an opportunity. But I don't want to make money, Happel. I, I want to make love. No wonder your father's sending you away. <laughs> yes, Vega. No matter where you go, your table will always be waiting for you here at the Blue Paradise. Thank you, Franz. You're the best waiter in Vienna. And maybe when I get back, I can afford bigger tips. Meanwhile, my friends, I give you a toast to the Blue Paradise. And while we're at it, to the look in a woman's eyes. Here's a toast to woman's eyes that guide the foolish and the wise. Ever since the world began, guide the destiny of man. Who dares to raise an empty glass and let this bright occasion pass? Drink to those we idol eyes. But see no more in blue paradise. Uh, here's Mitzi, our beautiful flower girl. Hello, Mitzi. Good evening, Herr Steger. A boot near for your buttonhole. I've a rose as red and white to sell, and pretty mignonette as well. I have roses red and white to sell, and pretty mignonette as well. Mitzi, where are you going? Oh, I have a customer over here, Herr Steger, an army officer. Oh. Oh, Mitzi, one more bouquet here. I kiss it all with that, my dear. Oh, thank you, sir. You're very nice. But that has never been my price. I find it very hard to live. That is all you'd care to give. There you see, women are all the same, designed to break our hearts. Daughters of Eve, man may deceive, cause you to worry and cause you to feel. Yet you be. Mr. 
Dorothy, this is how Rudy's last night with us. Oh, I didn't know. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Herr Steger. Mitzi. Why, oh, she was in tears. I didn't know you had such an effect on flower girls, Rudy. No matter. One last farewell, my old friends. Fill your cups. Then I must be going. Rudy! Yes, to us. To friendship. Here's to you, my sparkling wine. You that know no sorrow, never know tomorrow. Thrill me with your bubbling song all night long. Here's to the laughter and joy that you bring. And to the big mornings after you bring. My sparkling wine, sparkling, sparkling wine, that's fine. Here's to you, my sparkling wine. You know no sorrow, never know tomorrow. Fill me with your bubbling song all night long. Here's to the laughter and joy that you bring, and to the big mornings after you. My sparkling wine, sparkling, sparkling, sparkling wine, that's fine. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen, it is closing time. We're going, Franz. One more look around before you dim the lights. Isn't it strange how one place, made from ordinary wood and copper, brass and nails and stone, one place in all the world can have a special meaning in a man's heart. Well, goodbye, paradise. Come, my friends, to the train. Goodbye, Herr Stego. Goodbye, Rudy. You keep that table waiting, Franz. I'll be back. Say hello to America. Uh, so, we put the blue paradise to sleep. Lights out. With only this tiny night light still burning to wink at travelers, and so to bed. Betsy, Betsy, where are you? Oh, Rudy, oh Rudy, I knew you wouldn't go away without saying goodbye. Not goodbye, Betsy. Till we meet again, I'll be the same. Oh, must you really go away? I can't help myself. My father says he'll disown me if I don't. Is it because of me? Does he know about us? Oh no. Oh, my friends don't even know. But, Mitzi, I'll never forget you. And I'll never love anyone but you. I'll never see you again. Goodbye, my love. No, Mitzi, don't say goodbye. Our eyes and our lips say off Wiedersehen, but our hearts say goodbye. Let me hold you near my heart. Brush your tears away. Cool. <laughs>
No, my darling. I'll be back soon. Soon. You'll see. Until we meet again. We'll return in a moment for Act Two of Blue Paradise. According to figures of the Interstate Commerce Commission just released, the railroads last year achieved by far the finest safety record ever made by any form of transportation. In fact, so safe was travel by rail in 1952 that there was but one passenger fatality for each 2,400,000,000 miles traveled. Now, just imagine for a moment what this remarkable record would mean to your safety as a train passenger. For instance, if Noah, at the end of the flood, had stepped out of his ark and onto a train, and the train could have been going a mile a minute, day and night, ever since, for nearly 4,000 years, he still would not have traveled 2,400,000,000 miles. And it would take him several hundred years more to go that far. Now, perhaps that sounds fantastic, but it's an accurate statistical measurement of the unparalleled safety with which the railroads operate today. Such a safety record is a result of many things but especially of safe men working with safe facilities. The railroads were one of the first industries to begin large-scale safety programs in cooperation with their employees. And these continue today without let-up, accompanied by unprecedented research and investment for better operating methods and equipment. Since the end of World War II alone, the railroads have spent more than $7.5 million for modern traffic control and communications equipment, for heavier and stronger track, for improved locomotives and cars, and countless other things used by railroads, all of which contribute to railroad safety as well as economy. All these improvements have made our modern railroads safe railroads, and the railroads will continue to search for new ways to bring even greater safety to the nation's travelers. <laughs> Now, here is Act Two of the Lawrence and Lee version of Blue Paradise, starring Gordon McRae as Rudy and Nadine Connor in the dual role of Mitzi and Gaby. <laughs> Home, Paul. Home again after 24 years. Well, I can understand how you feel, Uncle Rudy. It's a beautiful city. Ah, you haven't seen the half of it. After all, you weren't even born yet when I was here last. And, and just wait until you see the blue paradise. Well, what's there, Uncle? Mm, a dream, Paul. And a wonderful girl named Mitzi. Oh, you mustn't be disappointed, Uncle Rudy. After all, everything changes. Not Vienna. Oh, Vienna never changes. Now... You go get us a cab, and meanwhile, I'll tend to our luggage. Excuse me, young man. The desk clerk told me I could find Herr Rudolf Steger over here. But I don't seem to recognize... Oh, I'm Herr Steger's nephew. We just arrived in Chicago. Oh, of course. I am Hample, an old friend. Well, then perhaps you can help us. Uncle's so anxious to see the Blue Paradise again. Ah, oh, that is not possible. There is no longer such a place. What happened to it? Years ago, it closed up. I bought the property and made it into a house. Whatever happened to a girl who worked there named Mitzi? How did you know that name? Mitzi is my wife. Oh. And Uncle Rudy has come 4,000 miles to find something that no longer exists. Here, Hample, tell me, could we bring back the Blue Paradise for one evening, for old times' sake? That might be possible. My wife is out of town for a few days. We'll do it. I'll keep him here until you're ready. Everything must be the way it was, Franz, for Rudy's sake. Oh, I, 
I don't believe it. Rudy has come back to sit at his table. <laughs> oh, Father, what would Mother say? Wouldn't she be furious? Gaby, my darling, your mother is so fat that she is capable of being ten times as furious as anybody else. Good afternoon. Oh, hello, young man. May I present my daughter, Gaby? Darling, this is Rudy Steger's nephew, Paul. Hello. Welcome to Vienna. Everything is the way it was, even the dance floor. Somebody must try it out. I would be delighted. Fräulein Gaby, would, would you do me the honor? Why, thank you. A waltz? Vienna has new rhythms, too. Why not a one-step? Good. A one-step it is. One step into love. Run to meet him. Run to greet him. One step into love. For pleasure that's continuous, there's nothing that can beat it. And the kisses no one misses make you think that love is great. One step, one step into love. But as for marrying, marrying, hesitate, hesitate. One night, the blue paradise comes back to life. Yes, and all of us are young again. <laughs> well, what are you all waiting for? You're teasing me. Take me to the blue paradise right away. In a moment, in a moment, Uncle Rudy. Oh, I'm home. My friends, I'm home. Let me be the real Vienna And now Let me know that I am truly there now Take me out to visit my blue paradise Whatever I may want I have the price There's naught that is under the sky That I have not money to buy Whatever a man may desire When drunk with the wine or the kiss One joy from his heart I will miss The sight of the bright golden pearls Of the one my heart was worshipped As the sweetest of all girls There's no that is under the sky But he has a body to buy He's in the mood to acquire Whatever a man may desire When drunk with the wine or the kiss One joy from his heart he will miss The sight of the bright golden curls Of the one his heart has worshipped As the sweetest of all girls All right, Uncle, it's time to go On to the blue paradise Everybody, he'll be here any minute now. Gaby, begin the walk. Yes, Papa. All together now. Walk of the season, walk divine. Touching the spot in the part of mine. Everyone is there. Oh, the air. Sing it and listen it everywhere. Here he comes. Oh, excuse me. I want to get into one of Mama's old dresses and be part of your young days, too. Keep the waltz going. Welcome, welcome home, Rudy. I, I don't believe it. It's Hampo, Rudy. Welcome to the Blue Paradise. Hampo. We, we've been saving your table here, Rudy. In France. Is it really France? At your service, sir. Everything's the same, the music and the lights, even even the head waiter. 
There, you see, Paul? I told you, nothing ever changes. Now, if I can find Mitzi again, I, I shall be the happiest man on earth. Uncle Rudy, uh, tw 24 years have passed. I, I think you ought to know that Mitzi... Mitzi? Mitzi? Why, it's Mitzi. As young and as lovely as the day I left. Uncle, I... Shh. Sing. Sing our song, Mitzi. Where did you learn that song? My papa and mama taught it to me. Mama? I'm afraid I don't understand. Maria. This is not Mitzi, Uncle Rudy. It's Gaby, Mitzi's daughter. Herr Hample married Mitzi many years ago. Well, is it all a dream? Yes, Uncle. Even the Blue Paradise. It's Hample's house now. The whole memory has been brought back to life for you for tonight. But just for tonight. Uh, forgive me, my friend. I have to think. I... I beg your forgiveness. I want to go into the garden alone. Certainly, old friend. What's happened? Am I such a foolish old man? And is the dream all over? Whatever my heart shall the question repeat. Oh, where is my child love so tender? And sweet, and never an answer from me shall be heard. No, never a word. No, never a word. No voices are silent in dreamland. I'll find a wonderful picture of days far behind. Again, I am young. Smiling at me, and sweet is the memory. Love will remain when all else shall guiding me. in the past. I've got to stop this. My friends, my dear friends, forgive me. I've been sleeping and dreaming. But now I'm awake again. So, let's have music. Orchestra. A walk. Immediately, Herodi. Oh, dance, you young people. That's it. Be happy now while you can. Not 24 years from now. And remember this. When you're in love, the world is always young. And thank you for giving me one more day in my blue paradise. Thank you. Our charming guest, Canadian Connor, will be back in just a moment. And meanwhile, our thanks to Carlton Young, Lee Millar, John Frank, and our entire company. Blue Paradise with music by Edmund Eisler and Siegmund Romberg was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at the same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? Last week on this program, we told you about an interesting illustrated booklet, Quiz on Railroads and Railroading, published by the Association of American Railroads. Since then, thousands of people have written for copies, and requests continue to come in. If you haven't already received a copy of this attractive booklet, I know you will want one, as it contains the answers to so many questions about your railroad. You can get a copy free if you send a postal card right away to the Railroad Hour, Transportation Building, Washington 6, D.C. Get that card off tonight before you forget. Simply address it to the Railroad Hour, 
Transportation Building, Washington 6, D.C. Thank you, Marvin. And now, here again is our charming guest star, Nadine Connor. I certainly enjoyed playing in two generations, Gordon. Well, Nadine, it's what we call three-dimensional radio. <laughs> What's on the show train next week? Well, you give a listen. Recognize oh, it? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. The memorable Noel Coward operetta, Bittersweet. And Dorothy Warren Show will be our guest. We'll all be listening, Gordon. Good night. Good night, Nadine. You were wonderful. Oh, all aboard. Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night, this is Gordon McRae saying goodbye. Blue Paradise was presented by arrangement with Century Library Incorporated of New York. Gordon McRae can be seen starring in the Technicolor production The Desert Song. Our choir was under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music was prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Until next week, this is Marvin Miller saying good night for the American Railroad. Now stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Tonight, the voice of Firestone features Dorothy Warren Schold on NBC.